welcome back to the Beach Bump Book Farm. I am Tiffany. I'm so glad y'all found me again today. But she all about cozy mysteries and romance books. And we're, oh, today we're talking about the July cozy mystery releases of 2023. How are we in the last week of June? I don't get it. I don't know. I have no idea how we got here. But we are here. And there are some good cozy mysteries coming out in July that I'm very excited about. Part one is all the traditionally published cozies. Let me know what you're most excited about, what you're anticipating for this month, and let's get started in three, two, one, go! So the first series that I have for you, I am caught up. I am ready for this book. This is like a good solid series for me. It's different. It's it's different than your average cozy. It's the Book of Retreat Cozy Mystery Series. Book nine is coming out. It's called Murder in the Book Lover's Loft. This is by Ellery Adams. So this features, our main character is Jane. And Jane is the like manager or keeper of this place called Storyton Hall, which is like this it's like a book lover's dream. It's like a book lover's resort, if you will. There's gardens you can read in. There's themed, li not, sorry, not themed libraries. There's libraries. There's secret passages. There's, like, they do events that are themed. That's what I was trying to say. Like a murder mystery theme and a Charles Dickens theme and a this and a that and a... It's just a book lover's dream. That's all I could say. That's all I could say. The thing that I love about this series is that there is a lot of character growth for the for Jane as well as the surrounding characters. I love her Aunt Octavia. I love her um, uncle. I cannot think of his name. Aloysius, I think. Uh, I love her twin boys. Her twin boys have grown so much in this series. The last one I read, number eight, I think they were like in junior high and talking about, you know, liking girls and I was like oh my goodness how that's incredible to me this comes out July 25th like I said it is different just because there's a lot of secrets to this and a lot of yeah just mystery surrounding the story to hall but if you are a lover of book themed cozies check this series out the next series we have is one that I'm excited to try. I put this on my TBR as soon as I read it. It's the Odessa Jones Cozy Mystery Series. Book three is coming out called A Shimmer of Red. This is by Valerie Wilson Wesley. And the reason it got me is because Odessa is a psychic. Yes. And I'm always looking for a good psychic cozy. So this one says, until now, Odessa Jones's inherited ability to read emotions and foretell danger has protected her. But second sight didn't warn her she would soon be a widow and about to lose her home and catering business she's worked so hard to build. The only things keeping Dessa going are her love for baking and her sometimes mellow cat Juniper. Unfortunately, putting her life back together means taking a gig at an all kinds of shady real estate firm. That's all I know about it. The third book, A Shimmer of Red, comes out July 25th. This one on my TBR. Always looking for a good psychic cozy. I'm in. This next series, book 17, is coming out. I've read a few of these, and it's very, this series is very up and down for me because the characters don't always seem like the nicest and I struggle with that. The series as a whole, the concept is really fun. It's the Booktown Cozy Mystery Series. This is by Lorna Barrett. Number 17 is called A Questionable Character. So this features main characters, Trisha Miles. She is the owner of Haven't Got a Clue Mystery Bookstore. It also features her sister and they have a cat named Miss Marple or Trisha has a cat named Miss Marple. This takes place in New Hampshire. So the entire town has different themed bookstores, which is an amazing concept, right? As book lovers, that is the dream. That is the dream. Between Stories and Hall and Booktown, that's the dream. Oh my goodness. It's a town surrounded by bookstores. This comes out July 18th. Next up, we have number 10 in the Second Chance Cat. 
cozy mystery series. It's called Scared Cat. <laughs> this is part of the Second Chance Cat Cozy Mystery Series. This is by Sophie Ryan. Our main character is Sarah. Sarah is the owner of the Second Chance Secondhand Bookstore. She has a stray cat named Elvis. This takes place in Maine. How fun. And it comes out on the 4th of July. The next one is a series I need to get back to. I've read the first few. I've enjoyed them. I just kind of forgot about it. And then I saw this new release and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's the Spice Shop series by Leslie Budowitz. Number seven coming out is called Between a Walk and a Dead Place. So our main character in this is named Pepper. She owns a spice shop. Pepper, spice shop. I see what you did there, Leslie. This takes place in Seattle at the fish market or somewhere in like the Pike Market area. And holy moly, I, like I said, it, I, I don't know how I got away from it, except I was probably caught up at one point and now I'm probably three books behind, but I'm going to get back to that one. Next up, I always love the covers on these books. I have not tried this series. It is on my TBR. Every time I see one, the covers get me every time. It's the Andy Carpenter Cozy Mystery Series. This is by David Rosenfeld. Number 27 is coming out. 27. It's called Flop Dead Gorgeous. That's hilarious. This comes out on the 4th of July. And it says our main character is Andy Carpenter. And he is a defense attorney. I think it's a male protagonist. Uh, and they manage a dog rescue facility in New Jersey. Oh, the covers are so cute. Next up, we have the Tea by the Sea Cozy Mystery Series. Book number four is coming out. This is by Vicki Delaney. It's called Steeped in Malice. So this one I tried the first book on. I don't think this series was for me, just for many reasons. But tea lovers, check this one out. So our main character, Lily Roberts, is an ex-New Yorker who is now the owner of a Cape Cod. What a great location for a cozy tea owner. Her grandmother, Rose, runs a Victorian bed and breakfast. They're, kind of, they're a team. <laughs> this comes out July 25th. Next up is my series that I'll never quit reading, despite what happens. <laughs> it's the Hannah Swinton series has a new book. Book number 29. It's going to be called Pink Lemonade. Let me try that again. Pink Lemonade Cake Murder. This is by Joanne Fluke. This series has been around for a very long time. It's book 29, like I said. So our main character is Hannah Swinton. She owns the cookie jar. And this is the very first cozy I ever read. So this series has a place that is cemented in my heart, regardless of whatever happens, because I've had, definitely had ups and downs in this series. I've gotten to a point where, if not for the nostalgia and the, and the fact that Joanne brought me to cozies, I'd probably kind of drop off in this series, but I just can't. I just can't. Hannah has solidified in my heart. This comes out July 25th. This next series is on my TBR, but I want to push it up a little bit. I'm pretty sure um, if I don't get to it this year, because I really, really want to try it, I'm going to put it on my 24 series to turn 20, start in 2024. It's the Perveen Mystery Cozy Mystery Series. Book number four is coming out. It's called The Mistress of Batia House. This is by Sujata Massey. So here we go. You know, I love the 1920s. I've said this. This, it, their main character is Praveen, Praveen Mystery. They're Bombay's first female lawyer in the 1920s. This, of course, takes place in Bombay, India. I am so in. It's got to go on my list of 24 series starting 24 if I don't get to it. This fourth book comes out July 11th. If you've tried this, let me know how it is. Next up is a new series. New series alert! Okay, so this is going to be called... A Hunter and Clue Cozy Mystery Series. This is by Victoria Gilbert. And the first book is called A Cryptic Clue. So this says our main character is Jane Hunter, who is a 60-ish year old retired librarian. And Cameron, Cam Clue, spelled C-L-E-W-E, -E, who is a 30-ish year old, 30-ish 30 30 old collector. This comes out July 11th. I love Librarian Cozies. I'm definitely going to be giving this one a shot at some point. 
Next up is a series that I don't know how this did not go on my SAS list this year. I only have a few to get caught up on, so I might still get caught up on it or I might put it on my SAS for next year for sure. It is the Haley Pal Cozy Mystery Series. I love this series. This is by Lee Hollis. I love them. They're a brother and sister writing team. I interviewed the brother. They're fantastic. The book coming out on the 16th is called Death of a Clam Digger. So Haley Powell it works for a newspaper magazine. This series has had a, a lot of growth, so there are changes. She takes place in Maine. So her newspaper column, she like writes like food and drink columns. So she does like, she'll do a... Um, column about a recipe for like a cocktail or something like that and she'll tell like a story about when the she prepared the cocktails and like at a family event or how the recipe came about and it's so fun I really 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 like it like I said lots of changes so I don't want to say too much more spoil anything but it's definitely a series I recommend next up is the eighth paranormal perfectly proper paranormal cozy mystery number eight is coming out i believe number seven just came out last month or in may so i'm really excited to see another one and i am ready for i think it's number six so i just need to buckle up this is by kirsten weiss the book is going to be called dead end donation so this one our main character is maddie and in the first book she gets roped into managing a the local the town's local par, paranormal museum which her friend has owns and i love it i'm not a huge paranormal fan but there's just something about this series that works for me it's so much fun i really really enjoy it number eight comes out july 31st next up we have my favorite another new series new series alert okay so this one is called Paris, Kentucky Bakery Cozy Mystery Series. This is by Rose Betancourt, who writes this haunted series, including the haunted vintage series I'm reading right now. So book number one is called Macarons Can Be Murder. All right, this is set in Kentucky. It says living in Paris and having a sidekick cat named Pepe Le Pew gives Marcy's life a certain je ne sais quoi. Only Marcy isn't in France. She lives in Paris, Kentucky. Combining her love of baking in France, Marcy opened La Belle Pastry. But when a woman is discovered dead in front of her shop, Marcy's dreams come to a screeching halt. I can't wait. I think that sounds fantastic. I love it. I love bakery themed cozies. I'm in. This comes out July 11th. Next up, we have another new series. I've heard some good buzz about this one. A lot of people have been reading ARCs and there's good word about it. New series alert. Okay, so this is the Beekeeping Cozy Mystery Series. The author's name is Jenny Martz, and the first book is called Take the Honey and Run. I'm loving the title. This says that it's set in Colorado. I like Colorado Cozy. This says, as a successful mystery writer, author, Bailey Briggs writes about murder, but nothing prepares her for actually discovering the dead body of the founder of her hometown of Humble Hills, Colorado. Bailey grew up in Honey Buzz Mountain Ranch. Love it. And was raised by her beekeeping grandmother, Blossom Briggs, a.k.a. Granny B. Oh my gosh, I'm loving this. And her two eccentric sisters. This, this is it. This is it for me. This is Aster and Mary Gold, which is why she drops everything to come home and help Granny B after a bad fall. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait. Like I said, I've already heard some good things. Now I'm even more excited after I read the synopsis. I cannot wait. Next up is one of my most anticipated reads for new releases. I cannot wait for this one. It's the new Poppy McAllister book. Number eight mischief nights are murder oh my gosh i cannot wait this is by libby klein comes out july 25th this series is set in new jersey it features a widow named poppy McAllister, and she 
in the first book goes back to her hometown for a class reunion that she is very reluctantly going to. And she ends up staying. It's not a spoiler. We're in book eight. <laughs> okay. And her aunt is a big sidekick in this character or in this series. She uh, makes gluten-free bakery items. She's also, her and her aunt are also turning her aunt's home into like a bed and breakfast sort or an inn or something along that line. Oh my gosh. There is a cat in this series that is hysterical. Everything about this series is laugh out loud funny I can't recommend it enough, especially if, again, you like funny, humorous cozies. This is for you. Next up, we have a number two in a series. I really enjoyed number one. I end up giving it four cups of coffee. I'm excited about this one. It's the second book in the Senior Sleuths Cozy Mystery series. It's called Peg and Rose Stir Up Trouble. This is by Lauren Berenson. So, I just want to read you the little blurb. It says, Murder She Wrote meets The Odd Couple. And this award-winning author, Lauren Berenson's brand new series, spun off of her Melanie Travis series, which I have not checked out. This features Melanie's elderly aunts, Tough as Nails Peg, and Soft Spoken Rose. This new one comes out July 25th. Like I said, I ended up giving the first one four cups of coffee. I really enjoyed the two of them. And it was just a lot of fun. I can't wait. And the last one is another anticipated read for me. I told you there were some good books coming out in July. I'm really excited about it. It's the second book in the Record Shop Cozy Mystery Series by Olivia Black, who I just interviewed. She's on my author playlist if you want to check it out. She was super funny, and she's a hockey fan, so now we're besties. <laughs> All right. It's called A Fatal Groove. So this one says when Junie Jessup and her sisters, Tansy and Maggie, put all their beans in one basket to open Sip and Spin, a record slash coffee shop in Cedar River, Texas, they knew that there would be some scratches on the track, but no one is expecting to find a dead body. Oh my gosh. I really liked the sisters. I really liked the uncle in this. He's just kind of always up to some shenanigans. It sounds like he owned like a gag gift, like a store, like specialty store, which in my book makes you awesome. <laughs> I can't wait for number two. Wow. Like I said, I have some highly anticipated reads. Let me know what your highly anticipated reads are. I would love to hear what you're most anticipating. Give me a big thumbs up for this video. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe. Remember, support is free. And may all your future reads be five stars. Bye, everybody.